Welcome to week three. This week, we will focus on the legitimate restrictions to freedom of expression. As we have seen in the previous week, freedom of expression is a fundamental right, but it is not an absolute right. It may be restricted legitimately. International and regional human rights provision have laid out what makes such restrictions legitimate in the so-called three-part test. The restrictions must be set in law, respond to legitimate grounds, and be necessary to the realization of the protected interest. Over the week, we will consider each of those steps or tests in turn. We will then consider another form of legitimate restriction to freedom of expression under international human rights law. The restrictions set under Article 20 of the International Convention on Civil and Political Rights regarding incitement, speech and the prohibition of incitement. And the restrictions set under Article 4 of the International Convention Against Racial Discrimination, an article that prohibits incitement, but also promotion and distribution of racism. As we will see in the final two segments of the week, incitement and hate speech are imprecise areas of law characterized by a number of contradictions. However, they are also considered as legitimate restrictions to freedom of expression, provided they meet the three-part test, and as far as incitement is concerned, provided they meet additional tests related to the directness and imminence of the incitement and the causal link between the speech and the action of violence or discrimination. This will make for a complex week, but an important one, because the three-part test in particular is at the heart of international law related to freedom of expression. It is a crucial benchmark against which many violations can be assessed and demonstrated. And therefore, it is a crucial benchmark for the protection of freedom of expression. So let's begin.